Kailendaba, which means home of the story. This is where African rituals are still performed in a small scale. African stories are still told in a small scale. One of the powerful teachings that we get in places like this, we are so fortunate to have it here in Sawati. This is where African children are still taught in our continent in a small scale and in a sacred. How our forefathers were already. How our forefathers used to pray before missionaries came into Africa to introduce the Western Christianity carrying the, the Bible and the gun. If we don't follow Christianity, it's an African man, African person, you are in the middle, you are in the, are in the middle between the bullet and the, and the Bible. If you don't follow the Bible, the bullet should follow you. Or if you don't follow Christianity, the bullet should follow you. Africa as the motherland, as the land of the ancestors, our four elders never ever believed that the man was the first person to live in this earth. Those teachings came with the missionaries when they changed the African belief and said the man was the first. Our elders would believe that an African woman was the first person to live in this earth. Why they believed in an African woman? Because of the world, even today, they still believe in birth by the women. Women are the only people in this earth that experience a thin line between life and death. They still nine months being pregnant when they go and give birth. It's either they survive or you die. And then the birth that an African child, woman gives, it is not the same as the other races I, I, I experience because of the one that African woman goes to. It's a difficult process compared to the Western one. Uh, the ones who collected the Christians, the Christians and said to them, in Africa when you say a ghost, you speak about something that is evil, something that is bad. Originally, it is a Holy Spirit. That is why they had to pray and say, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As Africans, when we pray, first what we did first, we should, we should start with the womb of the Mother Nature, the Earth Mother, introducing her into their prayer, and say in the name of the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit inside of us. The Father is the one that has been called in many names. Jehovah, Allah, Hare Krishna, whatever, but the end, we speak about one character. He's got one, two, three, four different faces that face in the four cardinal points of the earth. Those four faces represent the four rays that live in this earth, which is us, the blacks, the, the children of Amaraba and all, who gave birth to the yellow the white and the red, the yes. colors, huh? His name is who? You are the children of Oru and Amaradi. Reflex. Yes. Yeah. Olu. The first black race to come out of the red race. The first people to live in this earth were the red race. Red as in, as in red. And they were gigantic people. Oh, not the white. No, 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 no. The red people, as in this red, this red. So we come from, we are the children of Odu and Amaradi. Then we created the yellow, the white, and the one that we call them the red now, which is the Arabs. The, 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 when you speak about the yellow, you speak about the Chinese and the Japanese. Then the red for now is the Arabs. The one they regard themselves as the red, which are not red. Yeah. And then the whites, they come from African men. That is why all these three races, when they see you as a woman, they have to call you, as an African woman, they call you their mother. When they see you as an African man, they call you their father. The colors are the mixed breed of the four races. That is why we have a human skull. It is to show that we can fight and brag upon our races, but once we remove the skins, we are the same. In this world, there is only one race that we have a human race. On top of the father's head, we find the beard. In Africa, there were beards that used to talk 
Africans used to call those beds the Kaula beds, which means the talking beds. Those were the beds that they were used by our elders whereby whenever they wanted to send messages to other villages, they would send the talking beds and play the drums. If they were first born children who were born in the very same day in the village, all those first born children will be collected together at once and be taken to the gods of the talking beds and be named by the gods. That is why as African people, our African names are very much important to us. We live upon our names. They have got the meaning and the directions into our lives. The round ball on the crown shows the powerful energies that we absorb in this universe using the crown. Hence the crown, it is the first part of the body to reach the universe before any part of the body. The two animals on the chest, they show the strength, the intelligence, the beauty and the power of the nature itself. And next to him, it's God the Son. The one the Christians are calling him Angel Gabriel, the Son of God, or Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Our elders used to call him the Traveler. We, why the Traveler? Because as Africans, we believe that as a human being, when you were born, you were never born alone. You were born with a gift of a child inside of you. The one that's going to love you unconditionally, protect you, share each and every second, every moment with you. Remember any human being in this earth, be it your girlfriend, be it your boyfriend, be it your family, be it your parents, be it your best friends, the most, be it your friends, the most dangerous people in our lives are our families and the best friends. Because of those people make sure that they know and understand us more. They can betray us, they can turn against us, not the children inside of us. Hence we say the body is just the vessel that protects the inner child, which is the inner Holy Spirit. The mother is carrying a spear, the first weapon which was given to an African man to protect the motherland. Hence the to says, Me utarati The mother is the one that holds the sharpness of the knife to protect her family. She's got one, two, three, the first eyes on the leg. With the eyes, it is for her as the mother nature to look and take care of her nature since she is the one who gave birth to the nature. That is why in the families, the mothers are the ones who are taking care of the children. The mothers are the ones who teaches the children how to talk, how to walk, how to respect and be responsible. The responsibility for us, the fathers, is to give the very same children identity so that they can know where they come in, where they go, they should go positively. So the four breasts on the chest, one, two, the third one is on the chest, and the fourth one is on the left leg. We, that is where we suck divine love, integrity, humanity, and good life itself as Africans. That is why in Africa we say whenever a child is born, it doesn't have the brain for it to have the brain that is when it has to be breastfeed by its mother that is why behind a powerful president and a powerful king we find a powerful breast of a woman behind a strong powerful family we find the breast of a mother in africa again we say the garden of love grows into the grandmother's heart which is a woman there are two points who are sitting on top of her lap. I'm running away from the with a cigarette. There are two boys who are sitting on top of the lap. If you look at the boys, you could tell that the boys are in a dispute. The boys are fighting. They are fighting for the stupidness. Out of that stupidness, we find a positive teaching. Come and see this. These boys are fighting over a dick, <coughs> over a penis. This one has got a big dick. He's belittling this one, which is smallest dick, who wants to react violently. The uh, teaching that we get here is, as people, we should stop fighting over small things. We always focus on the negative than on the positive. Today we worship and praise material more than anything else in this world, and jealousy comes first within us. That is why I introduced that girl. Her name is Lerato Unolitando, which means love. Mm -hmm. She says, guys, come on, let's stop all the hatred. Let's stop fighting over small things. Let's stop jealousy. Let's come together, embrace each other, and make this earth a better, powerful place. That's African prayer. 
God the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit inside of us.